Yo, welcome to Crash Dummies episode 141. We have a exciting episode, actually. It's a, like a Valentine's Day special um, episode. So basically, we're going to do a dating show uh, with our listeners and uh, a girl that's named Tracy that comes in. There's going to be multiple parts of this podcast. So the first part is going to be just the dating show. And then the second part will just be us talking like normal. So obviously, you're going to see an outfit change multiple times. And audio listeners, y'all won't know anything, any difference. Obviously, um, bear with us. This is like a new format that we're trying out. We expect a lot, a lot of comments back from you guys and feedback to let us know if this worked because this is something that we think about taking live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and just doing more of it on the podcast as well. But, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the Patreon. We just released a new episode on Monday. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Subscribe. YouTube. Hey, um, keep, obviously, like, we uh, – you know, we got viral videos out there on Instagram and TikTok. Keep sharing those, though. We viral for you. Also, report the pages that's uh, sharing our content illegally. I know y'all <laughs> see it. Stop liking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All these my boys. Nah, it ain't our account. Anyway, here's the show, and let us know what you guys think. All right. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. Uh, I'm Mike. We got Pat here, and we have Tracy here. And we're doing a Crash Dummies dating show today in, in honor of Valentine's Day. And if you guys like this format... Definitely let us know. Um, we have eight contestants, right, Marty? We have eight contestants in the Discord. So, yes. all right, contestant one, I want you to introduce yourself, and I want you to, dis- this is a question goes for everybody. Describe the perfect woman and why you're the best match. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, my name's Noah Tracy. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, my perfect woman would be uh, a beautiful light-skinned woman, a beautiful black woman uh, who... Because I'm, I'm personally Ethiopian, so I want to continue my lineage, uh, continue my African culture, and it would just be someone who, you know, is calm, cool, funny, and get along with me and my humor. Oh, you're funny? That wasn't funny. Tell a joke. <laughs> Mr. Humor? Uh, uh, Helen Keller walked into a bar, and then a stool, and then a chair. And back in whatever fucking fantasy land she came from, because that bitch was not real on God. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I would tell you wasn't real. All right. All right. Hey. All right. Describe, and then describe why you think you're the best match. I think I'm the best match because uh, I have a great sense of humor, great personality. I'm confident, ambitious. Uh, I got plans. I'm well-educated. I'm smart. Uh, I'm the whole package, so... Okay. All right. All right. Bet, 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 All bet, right. Bet. Okay. All right. Contestant number two. Same question. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, I'm I'm Ross. Um, um, East African. A perfect woman would be, let's say, someone who's funny, black, um, dark skin, all that. Um, supportive. Someone who's honest, and someone who accepts like someone's flaws. I would be my perfect woman, I'd say. Okay. So, um, so, hold on. Sound like you got a lot of flaws. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never heard nobody no, describe so a woman like, like that. that. Like, I hope she accepts flaws. I got a lot of them. Uh, Tracy, be, be, you can ask any follow-up questions if you oh, want to any of these people, okay, too. Okay. You don't have to let us take it over. Um, okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. And describe yourself I again. I feel like... Um, I'm Ross. Um, I'm East African. No, 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 no. This is the wrong question. No, no. Describe why you're the perfect match. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We did. You, you said this first part. You said you're Ross twice. Hey, that's my name, though. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Hey, contestant number three. This nigga pissing me off. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, Ross. You gotta remember these two, Tracy. Yeah, I have to type it to myself to okay. make sure. Okay, okay. So we know Ross only know his name. And he got a lot of flaws. <laughs> a lot of flaws. But his name Ross, Ross, though. His name Ross. Ross. All right, go ahead. Contestant number three, right? <laughs> Yo, what's good? What up, what up? I mean, you y'all doing today? <laughs> My bad, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can let hey. me say what up. <laughs> <laughs> this hey, is Tracy, your voice deep? Your voice so deep. They can be like, damn. Y'all are well? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Inside joke, little nigga, come on. All right, first off, get it out, get it out. 
So no. the question was, um, describe the perfect woman and why I feel like I'm the best match, right? Yes. I hate when people do that. They get exactly right. <laughs> like, just, come on, nigga. <laughs> why? I, 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 <laughs> go ahead. So I feel like the perfect woman doesn't really exist. I think that's a subjective question. Uh, I think it's all about the vibe. I don't think it's about the race, the ethnic background, none of that shit. Because I'm Puerto Rican as fuck. And I, you know, like a little bit of it all. Um, and shit, to be honest with you, I think I'm the the best match because I ain't competing like the rest of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? If you want me, you want me. If you don't, fuck it. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> All right. Niggas are terrible. Let's go. Let's contest it. Let's contest it. Yo, my name's Sean. Um, the perfect one, man, gotta be funny. Because you ever roll with some niggas that was lame as hell, and they trying to crack jokes, and you just like, this nigga lame. Niggas? Yeah. It's for, for a woman. <laughs> oh, you ever roll with somebody, and it's like, this nigga lame as hell, trying to crack jokes, and like, this shit ain't funny. Niggas? <laughs> it's for a woman. Oh you ever you ever roll with someone? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be smart. All right. Okay. Okay. Why are you the perfect match? Because I could think on the fly. Like if we in some tough situation, I could think of some something I could get out of get out of it. All right. Think of the next uh, Super Bowl host right now. You got ten seconds. Ten Super Bowl host. Super Bowl halftime uh, performance. Performance. We won't bring it back to Bruno. Okay. Oh, this my gosh. <laughs> this, <is it>. nice. <laughs> <laughs> this uptown funk nigga up out of here. <laughs> Next contestant. <laughs> bring it back to Bruno. <laughs> he want to leave the door open so bad. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo. All right, so look, right? First of all, my name is Mo. Motion Mo on Instagram with a with a one. It's M O T one O N M O. And I like cause who's it? Contestant number three. I think he said it the best. Cause I like all flavors. You feel me? Like I I don't care if you if you from fucking Antarctica. Like if you bad, you bad. Word. So I just you feel me? It don't matter where you come from. If you look good, and if and not not even if, if you look good. Yeah, mental gotta be strong too. Cause if your mental not strong, then you can't deal with me. Cause I'm really that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Why, so, why would someone's mental like, have to be strong? What What are you because, mentally challenged? Because I feel like I feel like your mental gotta be strong because it's a lot of bullshit that be going on in the world. You feel me? And if you can't handle that, then you can't be with me. Cause I'll be around a lot of people. You feel so me? So are you so mentally like, challenging or are you mentally challenged? Am I? I feel like I don't know. Cause I'm bipolar. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, you know, I, bro, I'm just, listen, you, if you can't deal with me, bro, then like, there's it, no point of us being together. I, I feel like, hey, said, this is my what? first time ever being like on a dating show and a nigga just named one of his biggest flaws. Like, <laughs> I'm bipolar. Bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, you got to put it out there. You got to put it out there because if you hide it, it's going to come out out of nowhere. You feel me? No, fair, right. fair, fair, yeah. fair. At, at the end of the day, though, at the end of the day, though, sure. I feel like I'm the best match. Because I'm just him. Like it's you it's Timothy, not even a word to I like it. Okay. It's not even a word to describe me. You feel me? Like you can't even say, Oh, he's so generous. He it's nothing like that. It's no word in the fucking dictionary to describe me, bro. I know one like, word I'm, though. I'm undescribable. I I'm know so one serious. word. Bipolar. Well, what's, the word? <laughs> <laughs> what's the word? What's the word? Oh, right, and look, and look, I could clean. I know how to clean. Come oh, on. Good job. Hey, next look, contestant. Oh, God. <laughs> my mom used to beat my that. ass so much, so I know I know how to clean so much. All right, we, got, we still got another round, bro. We still got another round. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, so you, so you got good shit, good shit. your whole life story out there the first round. You're going to make it, bro. Trust me. You said that Hemothy stuff. Uh, hey, it go a long way. What's up? My name's Rat, and... My top three qualities are that I have an Asian persuasion uh, down there. So, you know, uh, my hand's too small and that uh, I'm barely funny, but like not too funny. So I won't, I won't steal your flow. The perfect, the ideal one would probably be someone that can focus, focus on the family, like how, be, have a family mindset. Not like, not think about herself all the time and not the guy, but like think about the choice that would benefit the family, you know? 
Yep, word, word. Man, shut up. <laughs> Hey, this is the best contestant so far, though. I ain't going to lie. Right, okay. So when you said Asian persuasion down there, what did that mean? Listen, mm -hmm. do the math. So what number of contestant is this? Six. six. So put six. Yeah, we're going to put you down for Contestant sure six. six is uncircumcised. <laughs> oh, okay. That's Wait, what that you is. never said what, what makes you the best uh, contestant? I guess you kind of did. Make, I, 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 thought, I thought I said. No, you did. You did. You did. You right. You right. You right. Next contestant. You answered the question too thoroughly, man. You did a good job, man. Contestant number seven. Lucky number seven. My favorite number. Seven. Let's see. Oh yeah, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Go, bro. Hello. He's going in and out. I think. Whoa. Oh yeah, I think it's pause. Big pause on you. <laughs> He's going in and out. <laughs> huh? Talk about. I think. Go to number. Is there eight? Go to contestant number eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore y'all. <laughs> Yo, no. Hold on, uh. this contestant eight. Yeah, yeah. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? My name is Xavier. I just want to say thank you guys for having me on, man. Love yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, get to the question. <laughs> hey, chill out, chill out, Pat. All right? Hey, uh, I think uh, what I look for in a woman, man, somebody who's honest, somebody who's caring, loving. Uh, def definitely somebody who's feminine, man. You know, she doesn't feel have to, uh, she has to take on the role or take on too much, man. Uh, you know, I don't really care about race. I don't really care about none of that. You got to have a little bit of ass, 100%, man, but that's cool. Uh, what makes me the best contestant, man, I'm, I'm hardworking, I'm driven. I'm, I'm ambitious, man. I'm goal-orientated. Um, I'm looking for the next move, and I'm just trying to, trying to live a successful life, man. That's it. All right. That was clean. <laughs> I ain't had nothing to say about yeah, I that. Yeah, that you was clean. Made him perfect. Hello. Yo. Yeah, I'm here. Have you been hearing the question we've been asking? No, I never heard the question. All right. The question is: um, Describe your the perfect woman and describe yourself as well, or describe why you're the best contestant. All right. So I feel like the perfect woman for me is a woman that's sof that's sophisticated. She got her shit together because I got my shit together, and someone who's driven to meet their goals as much as I am. And just some overall, just good for me, I guess. You did a lot of you talking in this. Oh, wait, wait, in this hold on, wait, wait. I hear a kid in the background. <laughs> Hey, don't don't worry about my little cousin, bro. He, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's all <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. His baby mama, the roommate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he in the bathroom right now on the toilet talking about. Yeah, I think I'm the best man for you. Got the shower listen, open listen, 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 <laughs> listen. Nah, no, I ain't in the bathroom, bro. But what was the other question? Uh, why you think? <laughs> why you think? <laughs> why you think you're the best contestant? Oh, I feel like I'm the. Best contestant because I feel like I'm more mature than everybody that's in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most immature shit I've ever yeah. heard in my life. I'm the most mature nigga in there. He right next to Timothy. He right next to him. Okay, listen, hey. Listen, I'm, I'm listening, I'm nigga. Him for real. But we gonna speak on that. Okay. Right, we got two hymns in here we now. Got two we got him dunking he not him and him. He's not really him at the for real. Okay, we gonna he let y'all. We gonna let y'all squab it out in the next round. I think you might make it to the next round. Yeah, because we oh, got to see who else is in All right. House. All right, mute everybody. So, so that was round one. Yeah. We're going to mute ourselves, and then we'll get back to round two. We'll get our decision, yep. You can just say who you eliminated and, <laughs> and tell them why, too. So I eliminated number one. The reason I eliminated number one is because he only preferred light skin. I am very chocolate. Um, and number three. Wait, 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 wait. Number one. Number one. What do you What do you got to say about that? And be, be respectful, because we'll find you. I... I'm a spoke. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I'm going to say just a black queen in general. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, that's on me. I'm being for real. That's on me. My bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Goodbye, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Get that nigga up out of here. <laughs> Racist it's bitch. <laughs> He's talking about any black woman. He's giving colores. All right. And then who uh, else are you? And number three. Number three. Um, for me, it was just like, um, you're not Ooh. trying. And that's probably why you're single. Ooh. Be a be careful now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no. They, they, that wasn't. Because you're not trying. You're like, well, I mean, if she like me, she like me, and if she don't, I don't give a fuck. And I'm just like, oh well. 
You know, I want a man that tries a little harder. Hey, bonus right now. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I want you to try to convince her to get back into the round. Because I feel like you should make it to the next round. Really? I'm, I'm just trying to say it like this, baby. Look, listen. I'm supposed to like you if I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to know you. I can't, you know, you. it's like. It's like you haven't even opened the book. Oh, he got I'm not telling game. you you just buy a cover, but <laughs> I'm telling you want to read it. He's smooth. He's smooth. Yeah, he's... So we we giving him another chance? Are we giving him another chance? Oh, so so can I can I get another shot, please? It's up to her. I like it because you you did a whole 180, and it's this is the opposite of who I thought you were. So. I like that. I like yeah. that. Are right, you safe for now, nigga? So we have- <laughs> <laughs> We're eliminating three oh, next round. Yeah. <laughs> three right, people got to go round, next round. In the, last 10 seconds, in the last 10 seconds, I'm going to score and we're going to win. Bro, you, we already said you're in. <laughs> bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we said you're in already. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga shooting free throws after the game. Come on, nigga, wrap it up. <laughs> now, one game we're going to absolutely <laughs> oh man oh my god all right all right round two yo yo god damn nigga hey my bad i'm working right now you have a fuck you have a show <laughs> all right I- describe your your perfect first date perfect first date man hey look man it's got to be something light something light uh like coffee man or or something like a fucking walk or something, dude. Just something to where it's uh, if you and I were getting to know each other, see if we're compatible, see if that uh, you know, this is actually gonna go farther than this. He uh, talking about a walk on the first like date. This nigga a predator. <laughs> oh my God. So what? Sound like a kidnapper to me. Talking about Leah. Let's walk through the woods on no, our no, first no, date. Hey, look. Here's the thing, though, man. I'm not gonna go and drop a hundred on some dinner just to not talk to this chick again, man. I'm gonna go get some coffee with wow. you. See if I even like you. If wow. you like me, if we like each other, then we'll go to dinner. Oh, okay. 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 You one of them niggas that saying, uh, "Do you like me? Yes or no?" No. <laughs> In middle school. <laughs> hey, man. I gotta know, man. Huh? All right. Contestant number is seven eliminated or seven still in? Seven. Contestant number seven. Just the date question. Yeah. Yep. Describe your describe where you would take Tracy on the first date. Oh, you, you can ask that. Where would our, where would you take us on your first date? On the first date? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let her, let her ask her it. Ass. What's wrong with we, you, nigga? We need it for no. the clip. Number seven. All right, so. Shut the so fuck up. Hey, shut up. Me <laughs> hey. me on ja. She gonna she gonna ask the <laughs> question seven. first. Where would you take me oh, on the first date? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cut. Get it? Okay, go ahead. So where would you take me on your first date? All right, so boom, I'll probably take you like, like a hot air balloon or something like that. Something very adventurous because I'm really a hands-on person. So I really like to be like outside. So we can like, we can go painting outside, things like that. I mean, laser tag, something just really adventurous and fun. Hey, he killing it. <laughs> okay. It's going like to be hard it. to follow that up. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay, what about contestant number six? Hello? Do I go? Yep, yep. Okay. So, perfect first date for me is my go-to. Always the, it's it's the boba date. It, it's low commitment, not a lot of pressure, not a lot of effort you have to put in. And, you know, we just get to talk and get to know each other and see if you... If if I if you think I'm compatible with you and if I think I'm compatible with you, et cetera, et cetera. Go to yeah. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like this like uh This is the fiftieth date. Right. Like go saying go to on a dating show is crazy. <laughs> Boba, Boba just got popular. Right. If it, I mean if if it's if it's never if it's never failed, then like <laughs> why why do I have to push it up? <laughs> All right, nice contestant. <laughs> All right, so I feel like the perfect date, it could be, I ain't going to lie, it could either be two, right, depending on the female. Like, one, it could be the beach because when you go to the beach, you see the real you. You can't pull up with no makeup on. You can't pull up with your hair all dead. Like, I got to see the real you. you. When you in the water with me and all that, like, we going to see how you really operate, you feel me? Like, Try to see from, wait, 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 try to see a woman half naked on the first date is crazy. Nah, hold on though. Hold on. Yeah, talking about I want to see you in the, yeah. you see you in the water is crazy. Be, Freaky ass nigga. She can have on. She can have on a nice blouse. A speedo. A nice yeah. little. A nice little something. You feel me? It could be. I, you know how how my boys are saying, you know, you don't gotta drop too much bread because like that's what they be looking for, bro. I'm not saying I'm broke now. I'm definitely not broke. Never gave broke, but I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I want, I want you to, I want you hey, to. Hey, that nigga said, "Hey, shit I hey man, oh god!" Bro. If a nigga say it twice, saying. that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> broke ass, that nigga chase account is in the negative. 
I know a nigga with overdraft <laughs> fees when <laughs> I hear him. <laughs> you know my shit's kind of negative. But now, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, we got to go somewhere where it's, it's genuine vibes. You feel me? Like, I don't want to be nowhere where you got to impress nobody. Like, we got to be somewhere where it's, like, neutral. All right, you feel yeah, me? I, I feel I, you. I, oh, so you neutral, don't like so your surroundings. Yeah. Got you, got you. Mr. Overdraft fees here. All right, next contestant. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Yo, I'll probably bring you to amusement park so I can bring out that fun, competitive nature out. So it won't be too much pressure, but just, you'll still have fun at the end of the day. Mm. Okay. Straight down. Straight, straight to, to the it. point. Hey, that's tough to beat. Next okay. contestant. Yo. So uh, I think, like, the perfect date would be something a little bit mature, you know. Uh, we could definitely go wine tasting or something. I like the fine dine, too. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm really a five course type guy when it comes to eating out, but we can do three course too as long as we eat dessert. Uh, I also, I also, I'm a like two in one package type of person because if, if I like you, then we're gonna go like on a second date that same night type shit. Because I like to see like the inner child in people. Um, I like to keep that alive. I feel like if you don't. If you don't keep your inner child alive, then I, I won't really know who you really are in the inside. So uh, I like to be mature at first, but then we'll end off having fun uh, throughout the night. I like he's, he has like a complete one eighty. He like knows what he's talking. Hey, about. Yeah, yeah. he set him straight. Yeah, <laughs> change, that, yeah. change that nigga's life. I think we're from the last place, the first place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next contestant. Yeah, um, I'd say the perfect date doesn't necessarily have to like post a whole lot of money so my perfect date would be uh i cook for you i come to my place and i cook for you play fucking build legos and shit like that just chill out so that i see how how how, how you are in stressful situations because building legos is not like an easy fit so yeah building legos is no no building legos is like really stressful so I feel like if you could survive building like a big ass fucking Lego, I feel like you'd be locked in forever, you know? Hey, well, I tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. You're not gonna get a lot of girls in your life, but you're gonna find the one real quick. <laughs> she likes Legos just like yeah, me. It's, it's, Listen, listen. It's all about looking for the one. You don't need a whole lot of girls in your life. Yeah, that's coming a whole from lot you. Of girls I believe are it. I'm not going to come over and build Legos. So you'll definitely find the one. Yeah, you're definitely going to find the one quick. What would be the dish that you cook? Um, I cook some East African dish, some chapati. Mm -hmm. with like, it's like the, like the like pancake looking thing. You said oh, chipotle? It's, it's, Chipot it's, it's, like, it's like bread. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the pancake looking thing. It, it don't look like pancakes, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love his voice. I love his voice. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's why I cook. It look like pancakes, though. Like some beef stew. Some beef stew? That sounds, I could just talk to him all day. Ask him more questions. I swear, right. he's, yeah. this nigga sound just it's like my so voicemail, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, hey, could you say Patrick can't come to the what? phone? Could you say Patrick can't come to the phone right now? What? Man, get this nigga off the line, bro. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and it's no secret that consuming a little THC can help set the mood in the bedroom. However, getting the right strain and doses can be difficult. That's why we're thankful for today's sponsors, Via. So, funny thing about um, this product, right, is that we got it a week before we actually shot this this ad right here, and we're shooting, uh, we're twitching, or we're yeah, we're live streaming, and then Key actually tried the. The high love uh, <laughs> uh, via hemp co, and mm -hmm. <laughs> we end up watching the Ice Spices drop the video. The so thing, we're watching the okay. So he dropped the high love one. Uh -huh. the, the reason it concerned me because I took this one, and uh -huh. it worked really really well. Yeah, and I was just like, so I know the high love one works very very well. And he took almost like I think he took two of them. Yeah, <laughs> I think w one for each of us. <laughs> Freak man. Oh man. Anyway, their products have great flavor and are made from vegan and organic ingredients. Let the gummies work their magic. If you're 21 plus, check out the Via in our description and use the code Dummies D U M M I E S to receive 15 percent off and a free sample. Take your passion and pleasure to a whole new level with high love from Via Hemp. Again, that is dummies. D U M M 
I E S. Somebody in there like, is it sometimes why? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the podcast. So I think my number one no was number two, aka number one now. The last one we just spoke to. Okay. Because I I will never build Legos with you. Mm. I don't even build oh, Legos with the kids, you know. So. Damn. Well, Contestant number who are no, the Legos? No, listen though. No, I no, love no, his no. voice. Oh. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Let me. Go ahead. Let me. Let me. Let me talk. Let me talk. Okay, so it's not just like building Legos, but it's the fact that you're spending time each like with each other talking. Because like when you're building Legos, you know. Listen, that is a great date. It's just like not a great first date. So it's not. It's not. You said what? I said it's a great date. I don't think it's a first date though. I think that's very fun. It's very cool. It's very like look, this is what I like to do at home. But no girl is going to be comfortable coming into a man's home for the first date. That's just a whole no. You get me? You can build Legos. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Let me, let me talk, man. Go ahead, go ahead, man. From Lego stores. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have you never gone to them Lego stores and, like, fucking make miniatures of, of your person, you know? You don't have necessarily to go to someone's place to get Legos. You can do it in a picnic. You, she she, she, she said, she, she, but I'm saying, she's saying she don't like nerdy niggas. And you trying, <laughs> yeah. trying to say that you a different breed of a nerdy nigga. She don't like, man. It's cool, bro. It's a no. She's just not the one for you. It's all right. Appreciate you coming on, man. Maybe next time. Okay. And then so the the other no was the um number five. It was it was giving real broke, the beach face. Mm. Let, let number five come in and defend itself. All right, so I ain't gonna lie, that's cool. Cause if you feel like going to the beach is broke, that's crazy. But my other option was gonna be the studio, but I ain't really wanna show you that part of me yet. But that's cool though. That's cool though. Like all right, the beach is broke. Wait, 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 wait. Studio, you got a song? I got many Please songs, let bro. Hear Could it. you freestyle? I, got, yeah, I don't want to hear no whole, song. I, I got a whole, hear. listen, I got a whole Valentine's album dropping tonight. Oh, God. I want you to rap one right now. I don't want to hear the song. I want to hear you rap it. All right, hold on. I got you right now. Look, I'm I'm, I'm going to sing for you. I'm going to sing for you. I'm going to sing for you. Look. Shorty is evident. I don't need no evidence. You got a man, but I know that he can handle it. I feel a vibe every time you come inside of it. I feel a vibe every time you come inside of it. The way you made me feel, shorty, you haven't seen. The way you made me feel, shorty, you haven't seen. And you know that I'm going to manage it. Say you know that I'm going to manage it. Oh, my God. But look. I mean, am I the only one that paused? Feel... Why is she coming inside of me? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when you come inside of it, like when you come inside the crib, when you come inside my bed. <laughs> like, like, hey, I ain't gonna lie. That's a clip. That's a that's a big ass AO. That's a I was freestyling, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, you put that, make sure, make sure you say. Pause, okay? Make sure you say pause. <laughs> oh, so you're trying pause. to get the people to think. Okay, I can, I like it. I got you, bro. Got you. Publicity. Style. I love it. I ain't, never seen, I ain't never seen a nigga freestyle and accidentally say somebody was going to come inside. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, listen, hey, bro. I'm, I'm over here. I'm nervous. I'm nervous on the chat. You feel so me? Nah, you're good. You're good. That boy got nervous to say just come it inside. Was it was a repeat. It was a repetent. <laughs> he did say come inside. He doubled down on the come inside of me. Ooh, he said that was a bar. I'm going to say it again. Yeah, yo, meant, yo. Yo, you know, I meant to say, I meant to say, I meant to say, come on top of it. I meant to say, come on top of it. You feel like? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Pat, yo, Pat, do me a favor. We play 2K together with Key. I don't know if you remember, but do me a favor and edit that out, bro, because I do not need that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, bro. All right, get that nigga out of here, so I, so I can't, don't gotta lie no more. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be money. <laughs> That's and then funny. my last no, it was it was hard, you guys, because I love all of you guys. But my last no was my Asian persuasion. I loved having him around. Mm. But the bowl. I'm more heartbroken than she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you know what? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. I'm sorry. Asian persuasion was the bowl date. Yes. That was a um. That was his thing. My sorry. I'm so sorry, Asian persuasion. <laughs> the one that was a no was the first one. Then he goes on and say like the first date. It needs to be free. It needs to be coffee. No, no, no. <laughs> you got anything to say, uh, Mr. Coffee Date? Oh, man. That's smooth. I appreciate y'all having me. Oh, yeah. He, he was ready to go anyway. Oh, you gave up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Third question for this round, all right? Um, how do you impress a date's parents or friends? So how I impress their parents is by helping around the house. Like, I'll help do the dishes, set up the table, 
um, clean up the house and walk if we're at a cookout and stuff, and you know try to charm them up. Okay. So, I like that. so I think you sound like a slave. I, I got. <laughs> <laughs> I got another question. Why didn't your last relationship work out? Because she threatened to stab me. Fair enough. Okay. What did you do? I told her that I was going to work instead of going to school. Um, jump in my career field. I was going to go to school for one more year. Oh, oh. she's slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but wait. Oh, so you wasn't. So you was making money, and then you wasn't going to be making money. I think that's why she stopped. No, you. I was making money. I was still going to. I was going to go to school one more year, and still work too. Oh, she's just of just jumping in my field. Full time. And why did she have a problem with that? This sounds interesting. I don't know. You can't you can't take it, just one side of the story. It's something like yeah, because you're like I'm going to school. I'm finna stab you. Like what? He like I also told her. I also didn't tell her about the family I had. <laughs> like what? Well, there you go. They going to school too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> nah, she, she was a little crazy. Okay. Okay. All right. Next contestant. Same two questions. So the first question was, how would I impress my girlfriend's parents or my date's parents? Or yeah, parents? yeah, parents okay, and friends. So if it's okay, if it's parents, then I feel like there are only like four simple steps to follow. It's like you call them Mister and Mrs. You talk to them directly. You don't talk to them through your uh, through like your significant other. You dress well, and then you need to handle the grilling part because they're obviously going to grill you to see if you know you fit in with their family. I like it. Okay, but but for the, but for the friends. I feel like you're just meeting a like you're just getting into like a new school, so it's just I, f- I feel like it's way more simpler. Okay, and then um, why wh- why didn't your last relationship work out? Um, she left me for someone two years younger than me. Oh, oh my god, this girl took by a sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> sophomore. I'm crazy. telling you, man. I'm telling you, he he had a bigger dick, bro. Like, Whoa, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Whoa! What do you say? Hey, yo! <laughs> next, next contestant. Can't even hey, yo that. He just. <laughs> I can speak. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I can speak. I can speak. <laughs> All right. So I feel like really the only way to like impress your significance other's parents is really by being yourself mm-hmm. and showing them that you're mature and that you can actually handle being with their daughter or son. <laughs> And actually showing them that you're <laughs> wait wait, wait. <laughs> this is this is um, this, she's a girl yo, a woman. I'm I'm just saying either or you know what I'm saying <laughs> for you. <laughs> what for you? <laughs> I'm I'm a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. You said guy. You said. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm confused. Man. Hey, we know you confused. <laughs> <laughs> we was hoping you were. <laughs> I'm confused. No, we know you right, confused. That boy cannot choose. Even if you was, you could be gay and you know what I mean, still meet somebody parents. <laughs> not me. That's not me. What is going on? <laughs> this is not gay. All right, and then why we did just ask you? Hold on, we just asked you to like what you go say. Like to her parents and friends, you didn't say you didn't came out as bisexual. Like, ain't nobody had to draw that. in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Type shit. Type shit is crazy. What are y'all saying though? Bro? And then why did your last relationship work out? Oh, y'all really want to know that? Yeah, yeah, nigga. <laughs> hey, look, 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 though. Listen, listen, listen to me, though. Look. Crazy thing about it, y'all interview my ex, bro, on why it fucking happened, bro. So Whoa. basically, like, she's a crazy, she's crazy and shit, right? And she like threw a rock through my window, and I got evicted. Uh, what's her name? So, <laughs> her name it start with a K. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh no! I don't say the name. No, I don't name. We bleep it out. Um. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm, I like yeah, when I heard when I hear her talk. She sounds so annoying, bro. You did your thing, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I escaped hell with her, bro, and I, I'm good that I got away from it, bro. That's just it. Yeah. That's just it. That's crazy. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. Real OG fans yeah. know what what's, what they talking about. That's crazy, facts, though. Facts, facts. No, you you de- you deserve better, King. Thank you. I deserve uh, her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next contestant. You like it? That's why I deserve. Her. Same two right. questions. Okay, so I think the best way to impress the parents and the friends is just by uh, keeping my girl happy. I mean, just as long as she's genuinely happy, then that's all the um, that's that's all 
they're going to be, you know, impressed and stuff. I mean, there, there's other factors that go into it. I mean, I'm going to just keep it hot, man. All these other, all these other niggas sound wait, 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 wait. That's not yet, that's not yet, that's not, 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 not yet. Hey, hey, next I promise round, next you round. you'll make it to the next round because there's already somebody that's probably eliminated. So No, that's fine. That's fine, but shit, uh, I feel like I can impress the parents and friends by just keeping her genuinely happy. Um, that's it. Uh, so, and uh, the reason why me and my ex didn't work out is because I just, I was just keeping it real with myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure, I have a goofy side, and sure, I have a side that some people don't seem to like get right away, but I'm able to compromise so other people can understand. And something that I understood within myself was, that I was just, I wasn't for her. I'm not going to waste nobody's time. I'm not going to play with nobody's feelings. I'm not going to stick around to see if I'm for that person or if that per- that person's for me. I think um, at some point you have to be grown enough to understand, like, okay, is this person for me or is this person not for me? And this nigga's a real just, deep thinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you almost don't understand. Man. I'm dirty macking now. Let me stop. Yeah. <laughs> you hate him. I hate him. Like, no. So you didn't, you couldn't stay with her because you were too goofy for her. No, no, that, that wasn't the thing. It's just, it became, it's a morals thing. You know what I'm saying? It was like her morals and my morals, we weren't equally yoked. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I was a whole different Yoda person <laughs> than what she was used to maybe or who she wanted to be with. And I just feel like, I just feel like shit, you know, if, if you're going to, if you're going to be with someone, you got to accept them for who they are completely. You know what I'm saying? All right. right. If you read off one more fortune cookie. <laughs> 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 He's right. spitting, though. He's spitting. No, you spitting that real shit. All right. All right. We're going through the elimination round now. Where she's going to eliminate one person. And the next round is the final round. Go. This one was a tough one um, because you guys all had great answers. The only one that we kind of had a tripped up answer was uh, number seven. I think he might be into boys. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not that. Right. That's your preference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not my preference. So, uh, number seven, come in and defend yourself. <laughs> not going to lie, being gay is diabolical. That is literally wild. I'm not gay. Oh my god. So we didn't call you gay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So how you be how you gay and homophobic? This thing is killing me. How can I be homophobic? Bro, I'm not gay, bro. I am literally not gay, bro. I'm not gay. No, we didn't say we were you it was just bisexual, we were saying. (laughs) No, I'm not bisexual either. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I got the wrong idea. Okay, okay. Anyway, you're out either way. She can't let me read she gonna let me do nothing? Whoa, do what? Whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? She gonna let me do that? What? Get that nigga up out of here. He was trying to fondle it. All right. <laughs> Freak nigga, man. <laughs> All right. Freaky. This nigga fuck. Our last. Parents, <laughs> he's about, she ain't gonna let me do that. Our last three contestants. We're gonna have two questions for you, but we're gonna ask one question first. You get to ask her a question now. One question. And we can start with whatever Marty wants to unmute. <laughs> When's the last time anyone genuinely made you smile? Um, the last time anyone genuinely made me smile would probably be like a week ago, seeing my nephew. He like genuinely makes me smile. He's funny. The fact that he's a baby or like a toddler is only part of it, but he's actually like hilarious. Like, he does the funniest shit. So, yeah, that was the, the last time someone genuinely made me smile. Oh, that's fire. I have two nephews myself. <laughs> you know, they definitely. Get, get say, it, dog, say. Hey, say. <laughs> you, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'll be around kids, too. <laughs> we got time to smooth the operator. Things, we, you know, we got something in common. No, that's yeah, good. Yeah. That's straight. That's All right, next kid, that's it. Like, are we doing you know, guys? Come on. My bad. Uh, <laughs> what the Who's the person you're closest to, and why? Who the? 
You not gonna just hold me up over there like we didn't just hear. But, but the crazy not, thing I'm is, kidding. it's like a lose lose situation because that's either his mom or his girlfriend. <laughs> who who is that? My bad. No, no, no. <laughs> that's a my bad. No, who is that? That's my older sister. Ah. Uh, uh, no. All right. All right, I am familiar that. with y'all game. All right, all, right, all right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Are you at home? Yeah. Mm. You, all right, you can ask the question. You're exposing yourself, but go ahead. <laughs> Who's the person you're closest to and why? The person I'm closest to is my mother. She is my best friend. We have the same name, and she's just literally like my other half. See, all right. Next person. Yo, are you having any, anything to say about that? No, nah, not at the moment. Okay. Trash ass nigga. But um <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just joking. <laughs> <doing> that, bro? <laughs> I'm dirty back in already. Yeah, yeah, you're terrible. <laughs> Go ahead, next person. Yo. Yo. All right. What's something that you're passionate about that you think I'm missing out on? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. Why are everybody laughing? <laughs> no, 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 no. Why are everybody laughing at him, bro? Tell me, tell again. Yeah, ask it again. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Damn, it's so nice. I gotta say it twice. Okay, okay. Um, what's something that you're passionate about that you think I'm missing out on? <laughs> music. I'm passionate about music, and I feel like, of course, we all like music, but I'm. Different backgrounds, so you probably would like like to know the kind of music that I'm into, and I would show you. Okay, okay, all right. This next question, this round is called the Dirty Mac round. Round, all right. The Dirty Mac round. We're gonna we're gonna go around to each contestant, and you're gonna say what you think is wrong with the other two contestants, mm -hmm. and you got about. 15 to 30 seconds, or if we feel like we, you're not saying shit and we're just going to cut you off. So you get that. This is your chance to tear down the other two contestants on what you heard about them. Hopefully you remember. And this is your chance, man, to, you know, put something else in her brain. Okay, I get started off. I don't even, I don't remember what contestant number four even said. So already that's, that's, that's a huge red flag, okay? <laughs> However, I do remember what contestant number three said, but it wasn't good. So I guess there's that. Um, this guy really switched. He really did a 180, bro. He... He's he's what the what David Anber would call a beta male. If I'm pretty sure if Tracy asked him to get on all fours and bark, he would do it. He generally would do it, no hesitation. <laughs> oh my barking is crazy. From the Damn top row. Shots fired. <laughs> Alright. We gotta let we gotta let him yeah, he gotta come in right away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck dude. Fuck what dude talking about. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna talk about both these niggas. Both of them sound childish as a bitch. Both of them sound broke as fuck too. I can, I bet you, I bet you they couldn't afford one great dinner date at the best steakhouse that you decided to go to. And dude over there talking about, uh, dude over there talking about beta. It's confusing because how are you gonna compliment? How are you gonna say this guy really did a 180 and then say? Oh, I'm beta. Really, it's called compromising, my boy. It's called being grown. When your woman wants something, you got to compromise to be with her. Mm. You don't got to be on some hating ass shit oh like my. you are. You can tell that you argue with your girl. Shit. You, can you can tell that you argue with your girl, and then you beg her to come back. Lame ass. <laughs> Rebuttal game crazy. All right. Last contestant. Both y'all, I don't remember what neither y'all said because y'all shit wasn't important. Y'all niggas just been repeating shit. Just like, oh, I'm sentimental, I'm this and that. Y'all fuck niggas. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. Bruh. All right. Man, I know, hey. All right. I know it's hard for you to, to write say? a one page paper because that nigga, <laughs> no details. <laughs> all right, Tracy. We come down to the final decision. And who am I gonna pick? Well, let's let first eliminate one by one and tell me the reason you eliminate them. And then obviously you will know the winner by the person you did eliminate. Well, I would say the two somebody, people somebody. that I want to the two people that I want, sorry. sorry. Are you good? They they have a lot in common. It's two people that came up short. 
And it's one that had. <laughs> I didn't know who you eliminated, Faith. You just go ahead and say it. <laughs> He's going to be mad as hell. <laughs> He's going to be. Mm-hmm. What? So we. <laughs> Sadly, because I definitely wanted to try that bull bomb. We got to let go of Asian persuasion. Fuck. All right, all right. What you got to say? What you got to say? Dude, what? <laughs> well, uh, hey, I, I'm, I'm, mad, hey wait, I'm mad for you, too. No, I, wait, wait, wait. I'm mad he's shocked. Y'all had no chemistry throughout the whole what? show. What? Are you serious? <laughs> what? I thought, hey, I thought he did good. She laughed every time. That we he all laughed. Mic. Go ahead. Can you explain to him why he's not the he's not not uh, the winner, please? Um, you you would probably be a winner, but I feel like um, I just feel like like he said we didn't have much chemistry, um, and we have like already had these very combative answer Q and A type vibes. So I just I feel like you're coming up short when it comes to me. So, and so, you so know, my, someone so- left you for someone younger. Mm. Uh, like that kind of says a little bit about you as well. He like. did snitch on us, so. <laughs> yeah, it shows me I'm mature for my age. But are you mature everywhere? Oh my because god! Because you also That's, said I can't, that I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, I I'm 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 de- I'm I'm battling with the cards I'm dealt with. <laughs> no, that's crazy. I was on your side for a second, man. All right, bro. Not to like admit that your shit is small bro. when there's like no proof. Like All right. it's crazy. And then right, you supposed to trick a girl. You know I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's feel like plastic. Um, go ahead. Uh, oh, the second one I'm deleting. Um, is is the last guy. Because he just has such a short answer. He's mm. just like, basically, fuck these niggas. Yeah. Right, 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 right. What and you got to say about that? I know it's going to be real short. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's cool. I made it this far. Shit. Hey, congrats, man. Hey, that's Top three. <laughs> I hate loser-ass niggas like this, bro. <laughs> nigga, these are niggas that come in third place on Fortnite. Be like, hell yeah. <laughs> also, the winner is Zonk. <laughs> Drop his name? Did he say? Did he drop his name? Yeah. He okay. Be- okay. Yo. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yo, yo, yo! What's good, baby? We won. We made this far. <laughs> I just did my parlay. Where we going to eat? Man, going out of town, baby. Uh, Zong, shout out to Shosus. <laughs> you said it was. Where can to where, where the, can the people you can find, find you? Me at, you can find me on all digital platforms at Zonk Roland on Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere, baby. We be modeling, we be making music, we be vibing. The 180 really works. You feel me? <laughs> what you was talking about. Hey, this should be a sign, ladies. Never give up. Give him a second chance, exactly. he can change. Hold on, hold on. Let, me you, let me ask Tell you a quick question. Know. Since I won, let me ask you a quick question. Uh huh. What's your horoscope? I'm a Scorpio. Oh yeah, we we gonna buy. We gonna buy. Here <laughs> right, we yours? go. Right. What's, yours? <laughs> What's yours? She said. Like, what? What's yours? Oh, I'm a Gemini, baby. You get oh, to see both okay, sides. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, all right, Zonk. Cool. Hey, and I I'm appreciate a- you for uh, participating. I'm a Toyota, nigga. Oh yeah, Tracy. We never even gave you like a proper introduction. Can you just introduce My yourself? My name is Tracy. Tracy Lynn is what I go by. Tracy Lynn official. T R A C E Y L Y N N official on Instagram. That's my platform. You can find everything else from there. We model. We do businesses. We whiten teeth over here. Yeah. And we make money and we do music. Let us know if this is something <laughs> you guys want us to continue doing. Um, I felt like this was really fun. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. This app is an easy way to make cash just by making picks on your favorite players. All you have to do is pick if players will have a higher or lower stat total to win while picking between two and five players to build a pick entry. Underdog is available in more than 30 states. Make sure to support the show and click the link in the bio. Download the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 when you use the code DUMMIES. Anyway, thank you for Underdog for sponsoring this episode. And make sure to use the code DUMMIES. Uh, now back to the show. You think, oh no, you think if you had a Chris Paul coach, you would have be just as far as Chris Paul? No, but I think I would make it. You think you would have made the NBA if, if I you, had all of everything? If you had every, everything except every I'm tell- coach that Chris Paul has, from the fitness to the 
dunking and layup and three point shooting and passing. I want to tell I you something. Wait, that got, uh, that's not true. Wait, 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 go, let that's finish. not true to that extent. No, no. But, but say, well, say what you're gonna say. I would still be either in the league, not in the league. I'd be like in the G League, and then never. You know what, Chris Paul had. You know what, crazy. You know what Chris Paul probably had that you probably don't have, or you don't have as much of as him. Say the fat joke, man. No, no, no. Discipline. I do have discipline. I'm just saying, though, you still need that discipline. No, you I, but, discipline. Even, but, but you can learn discipline. Nah, that nah, shit always. No, it's hard. It's always going to catch up with you. Yeah, you can practice discipline, yeah. but there's you can a practice stu- it to that extent, and it's all about your mental. Every person that made it is a freak. Like, they like, <laughs> they locked in. <laughs> that nigga is horny, but they are locked in to what they do in their craft. At some but point, just because locked a nigga locked in, don't mean they're going to make it. That's what we're trying to tell you. You just proved our point. We well, telling we you that contradicting each other though. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, my argument is that if you had everything that Chris Paul had from the get go, even if you had his discipline, you still wouldn't have made it in basketball because you're not a bad. It's just not in your DNA. Sometimes not in your DNA. But there's players in the league that don't have any athleticism, anything, but just mastered the game. What player I'm saying in the like league extreme, doesn't have athleticism? Extreme athleticism to make them. Look, you the think goal, you're more. You can wait, be a role player. You, I know you what can, you think. You think come, you can come off the bench. Shoot wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Threes, you think you're more? Defense. Do you think you're more athletic than Luca? I think, uh, yeah. I think he's <laughs> That's more, all I need to hear. I think Luca more skilled, but I. You think, think you're I'm more, more athletic, athletic than Luca? Athletic means that you can play any sport, right? Or are you saying just in basketball? In basketball terms, no, but like as far as. I'm any saying sport, athleticism. Yeah. yeah, athleticism. Yeah, I got pretty good athleticism. You think you're more athletic than Luca? You think your nah, hand eye coordination and all that? <laughs> he can duck a separator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can duck? All right, cool. That is a good separator, though. <laughs> if somebody, when we was in high school and somebody could dunk, like, that was like the, like, like we damn, yeah. niggas can Depending dunk. Depending on how young you is, obviously, as we got older, it's, like, less impressive. Yeah. But if you hit, like, eight, ninth grade and somebody dunking, you're that's like, what cr- the fuck? And, and that's hey, crazy that it is less impressive right now. It's so because, it's not because impressive. It, when, 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 I when I played against we played against Derrick Rose in the summer thing. I was mm-hmm. a, I was like a freshman. I forgot what he was, but he was dunking like dunking, dunking. I was like, damn. And there was <laughs> there was a friend that was dunking in eighth grade, and I thought that was super impressive. Now we got sixth graders flushing, windmilling, lower than that. Yeah, exactly. I seen a fourth grader dunk, <laughs> yeah. a tall ass fourth grader. Yeah, it's crazy. But I also think that it was all this stuff always existed. Just they, more common, more. And they used to get beheaded because they got accused of being witches. Like, <laughs> fuck you, jumping so high. That's no, crazy. Uh, <coughs> Uno officially confirms that you can't play a draw two on top of another draw two. Damn man, they confirm what? That you can't play a draw two on top of another draw two. No, that's you, you can't you can't double stack your draw two. So you can't double stack draw twos. Well, it sounds like Uno don't know how to play the game. Because <laughs> like, that's my rule. That shit not up fun. Sixes is yeah. great. And like when you, especially when you go in the circle. Not, yeah. And everybody got a draw two, and somebody end up with like eight. Uh, is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. you're saying stack, so the next person can't get no, the you, explosion. Yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> that first can't get the <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> Nigga can't get the explosion. I'm trying nasty. to I'm trying to get somebody 30 cards. <laughs> I know. That's that's the thing that's like the different part is just like you can't like so nobody can be like, oh, it comes right back to you and it's like, oh, draw eight. The reason so the reason that I like the rule that you can stack, right? Because there's only one winner. So if you're playing with like five people, yeah. Uno is like literally a game of luck. Yeah. Like somebody could get just the perfect Little cards. Strategy. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can, you can blow it. It's kind of like spades. It's like yeah. you can blow the hand that you have. Yeah. But there's only a certain amount you can do with the cards you can get. Mm-hmm. So people going around, and there's only gonna be one winner. And if I just so happen and just like I kept getting uh, stacks that I was never gonna win with, yeah. I w- at least want somebody to lose worse than me. Yeah. Like the damn thing, nigga, at least I ain't have forty fucking cards. The thing, the thing yeah, about no, stacking no. cards though, it makes the game so much longer sometimes though. Yes, that's true. It that, it, it definitely. Is- it, Especially when you start like draw two and everybody draw two and you have to get eight and then you start picking and you can't get your color. I know, but the the to me, the longer the game goes, the more entertaining it is. Because yeah, you see the rise you're sitting there with thirty cards. I know, but you get to see the rise and the downfall of people. Yeah. Like you within see- one game, because it's like, all right, so if I'm in a game and it's over quick and like, oh, he the winner. He the winner. He winner. Okay, he done won three times. She done won two. And now we just counting wins. It's yeah. just kind of 
or no, like, oh, he got the lead, he got two. Oh, get his ass, get his ass. Now the dude who had one Uno card left somehow ended the game with 30 cards. Yeah. Good luck, nigga. <laughs> See how but life you treats you after of, this. You get a lot of better cards with 30 cards. I don't want with like, I oh, don't even oh, say 30. Oh. I've won with like 20 cards before. What, what, what's y'all favorite? Uh, yeah, you can come back from that. What's that's, y'all fa- whole, that's what's fun about it. What was y'all favorite board game? Monopoly. Um, Monopoly? Hell yeah. no. That's another game that I never used to finished. Cook in Monopoly. Monopoly. I, I feel how like you cook I feel like Monopoly. It's a game of luck. It's not even a game of no, luck. No. You got to roll it. Well, yeah, rolling dice are it's kind of lucky, but you can have a certain technique to roll a dice especially in, in the, your favor. Especially in the black community, I feel like Monopoly games never finish. Because once one person has so much money, I feel like we just I, I just quit half the time. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, ain't no point Monopoly is play. such a long game. I don't have the attention span for I that. Like, um, Unless you play with real trouble? money. Is that trouble? The one with the you kind of like uh with the colors. You hit the dice and then you try to get all of your pieces into. That's luck too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's luck. But oh, I know so it's luck though. So you saying people don't know Monopoly is about luck? I think Monopoly. No, is a little I, bit I do know. You don't know that though. You said it's not, so you don't know. Little luck. There's still skill in Monopoly. The, yeah, there's skill, but I'm saying skill, to a certain once you run into a certain amount of people that know how to play a certain way, it's yeah. like the top two connect four players in the world. They'll do uh, a thousand draws before one of them win. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because like tac is one of those games. Is like if is as soon I remember that little cheat code everybody finds. You start at the one corner and then start another one corner. Yeah. Like it always depends who goes first. Exactly. So either gonna you will win or it's gonna be a tie. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like it's like chess. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> like if you play like a good chess player, you make three moves. They already know they won. Yeah. It's <laughs> like damn, I'm cooked. <laughs> That's crazy that somebody's thinking seven moves ahead of you. Yeah, especially if you don't know how to that's, play chess. That's crazy. Yeah, I, that I would get insane. so offended at, like, a chess competition, and like especially if somebody was talking and stuff, and be like, you know I'm seven moves ahead of you, and I'd just hurry up and mm, punch their ass. you like, yeah. <laughs> yeah so chess I'm, is a difficult game. I used to play chess when I was in, from, like, fifth, yeah, since right. fifth grade. Yeah. And, like, we used to do the competitions, and it gets harder in, like, the competition because... You have to move and then hit the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you just play with your friend. You can just take all day to listen. But yeah. But to think, I mean. But when you have the timer, that shit definitely is different. That's why it's the only game that's really, like, related to in, to intelligence. True. All the other games are just like. What about if you, checkers? Checkers has to have, yeah, like, yeah, It's not related to intelligence, though. I mean, no, it's, like still, it's, it's still strategy. It's a, no, it's, it's definitely it's a, a strategy, strategy thing. It's a, I think all of them are strategy. It's strategy in uh, Mancala. Yeah, the strategy in all those games. Yeah. It's chess strategy, is, chess but is sometimes, a strategy game. but sometimes the game is so simple that it only can go to a certain amount. Like when somebody say they're the king of uh, like Mancala, it's like all right, my nigga. When somebody say they're the king of Uno, like I just like think automatically like you dumb as fuck. Like, <laughs> to think that you're the yeah. king of a game until you start getting paid for it. Nobody. That's why. That's why it's not a competition with Uno because it's such a game of luck. I think they're all game of luck. No, Every I get that, is. but I'm saying like more skill, like you know, like yes, Chess poker, takes, like poker, yes. right? Poker is like okay, I gotta know when to fold, gotta know when a lot of elements, gotta in call body language, body language yeah. all that. It's like a sport. It becomes no, more of a sport. Body language, because let it rain. Mm-hmm. I'll clear it out. You gotta do this. <laughs> Beyonce backup dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Who y'all got in the Super Bowl? I got Taylor uh, Swift. By the time this is played, yeah, the Super Bowl's over. Taylor Swift gonna win it all, you man. Think so? You think the 49ers are winning? Yeah, I think. I hope the 49ers are winning. Do you think Usher, this, uh, obviously it's gonna come oh, out after performing. Super, do you think he's bringing out Lil Jon? Yes, he yeah. has to bring out Lil Jon. You think he, he gotta bring out, bring out Luda. Bieber? He already said he's bringing out um, Alicia Keys. Oh, uh, what's up? Uh, Babu? Huh? Yep. My, oh, that's gonna be fire. So they gonna see that. The only one I don't think he'll. There's always that one person, though. <laughs> my boo? That, that one? Their song together? Oh. Yeah, you don't know the song. <laughs> um. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Only person that he probably can't bring out is Beyonce. That that he has a really good song with. Who is she? Have? What song did he have with Beyonce? Love in this club. Oh, she's in that. That's her. I yeah. Love in this club. Yeah. She was in that song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in, in this shit. club. Maybe. This club. Yeah. What's she her part? She. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I can't even think of that shit. Look it up, Keith. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, if she's Beyonce like, was in it. Yeah, original version. Yep. Wow, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't think I really. Remember that. Or was it? Oh no, that was Young Jeezy. It was Young Jeezy in the first one, and then Beyonce in the second one. Yeah, she was in Love in This Club Part Two. Okay. That's what it is. <laughs> but it's fire. They both yeah. fire. Okay. But I know he probably not bring. He might bring it out Jeezy. You think he'll bring out uh, Justin Bieber? <laughs> I think Justin Bieber. I think when you when it's too big of an artist that 
that artist could technically headline the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. I don't think they would come out because it kind of blows their chances. Yeah. Because like. people already saw them. Mm-hmm. Like, it's hard to, like, get a performance at a Super Bowl. Like, I think, what is this, Super Bowl 50-something? Mm-hmm. So, like, when did they start doing, like, maybe 20-something years ago yeah. when they start doing notable? I don't know the Super Bowl history. Yeah. But let's say. It definitely say, wasn't from the beginning. It definitely wasn't yeah. from the beginning, right? Yeah. So, Super Bowl one didn't have, like, <laughs> yeah. a, right. So, it was like let's say it's been 30, yeah. right? Only 30 people. And then you got to think of that span as, like, if you. Your relevancy, like you being relevant, and then the time of the Super Bowl going by, like mm-hmm. if it don't clash at the right time, like one of the best, I think one of the better Super Bowl performances I've seen uh, was has to be Prince when he was doing Purple Rain and it started raining. What year was that? Like nineteen something. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It narrows it down <laughs> <laughs> to a century. Yeah, nineteen ninety something. What were some artists that you guys think people don't know today that performed at the Super Bowl? I don't really know the huh? artist history that that much. What the artist that I was hype? I was hype yeah. um, for the California one. That's probably the one I was like. I really like the Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. The Dr. Dre, Dre was nice. 50, 50 Cent. Yeah. Yeah. Mary J. Blige was yeah. on there. I'm trying to think it's, of another one. Oh, obviously, Janet Jackson is the one that oh, I yeah. like. That's the iconic one. Th- that's the iconic one yeah, yeah. when Justin Timberlake snatched the, the thing off of Janet like, I Jackson's. Watched that, I watched that live. Huh? Wait. Have you seen that before? No. So there was a Super Bowl performance. You know who Justin Timberlake is? Yeah. Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson's sister? Yeah. They had a song together, and they were performing, and then they did all these dance moves, and at the end, it was like a real intense look between them, like a sexual look, mm-hmm. and Justin Timberlake snatched her wardrobe off and her nipple showed. Mm. Yeah. And then they both like looked shocked and stuff and like that. the lights turned off immediately. The lights turned off, yeah. And it's live. All live television. Live. And it's like, it was talked about for so long. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I probably did hear about that before. And Justin Timberlake like, really never got in trouble for that. Yeah, but it's I think he, fault, he, he was getting right? some backlash, though. He was getting some backlash, but I mean, especially now, he was more popular than ever after that. I think even more recently, there was something that happened where she was, like, talking about that. I don't think she had a book coming out or something. And she talking about, like, how... Um, those times were dark, like kind of dark for her too. Damn. And so like, she, uh, I, I know she felt like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was, she did not, she was not feeling that. And then she, I think there was some like she was blaming Justin for something too. Damn. Yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. That is has to be messed up. Like the whole world sees your the whole world. Yeah. Like, come on, now. At the biggest show, and you're already like popular and like people all already, already want to know more about your family. There's like a bunch of negative things about your family going on, and then some shit like that happened. But that one. I remember Lady Gaga's. I wasn't. I'm not a crazy Lady Gaga fan. Katy Perry, right? <laughs> I don't Katie remember Perry Katy Perry. I never. Wa- I didn't watch. I would never watch a halftime show with Katy Perry. I'm, I didn't. She's either. a great artist, I think, but I think, I think she might have had one. Was that one that she did the little shark thing? Maybe I think Kendrick Lamar came out too. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar came out for what was uh, Beyonce. I think he came out for the the Dr. Dre one. I Beyonce think. and Bruno didn't Beyonce and Bruno Mars was on stage together. That's crazy. <laughs> Shakira and somebody was together. Jennifer Lopez. That was Shakira. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they was on stage together. So that's really I can't remember that many rap people like having one. It's not like it was, it was su- it's not super normal. Yeah, let's actually yeah. look up <laughs> Super Bowl. <laughs> super Bowl. I like our pre reaction though. Yeah. Like let's see how close we are. The early sixties ones were just bands, all right? So we're gonna skip those. They were like literally university let's just, bands. Let's just do the last ten years. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. The last the last one were bands. It started 2013. Um, 1990s. I'm trying to, I want to really see when they first started. Okay, the first one that they actually had somebody was Michael Jackson. Oh, damn. Wow, we missed that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I this, was. Another one was Clint Black, Tiana Tucker. Who's Clint Black? Who's Tiana Tucker? I have no clue either. Um, Tony Bennett. We're going to skip those. Diana Ross, notable names. Right. The Blue Brothers. Boys to Men, Smokey Robinson, Martha Reeves, God The damn. Temptations. How I miss they all performed at one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they stuffed all them niggas in one thing. <laughs> yeah, and then the Grambling State University Band in that same one. Another year with Stevie Wonder. I think I remember that. And Gloria Steph- Estefan. So the 2000s. Oh, Aerosmith and NSYNC. U2, I remember the U2 one. Rihanna. Rihanna. Janet Jackson, P. Diddy. This is all in one. Janet Jackson, P. Diddy. You got a name Nelly. in the years. What's the years? This is 2004. Okay. Janet Jackson, P. Diddy, Nelly, Kid Rock, Justin Timberlake, Jessica Simpson. Damn. Oh, I'm on the same list as you. Oh, 05. Uh, 05, Paul McCartney. 06, The Rolling Stones. 07 was Prince. That was mm. the, the Purple Rain one. 
Um, Tom Petty was 08. Um, Bruce Springsteen. Wait, 2007, did the Bears go to the Super Bowl in 2007? That was the Dolphins. Dolphins went to the Super Bowl in 2007? Oh, no, no, that was Dolphin Stadium. I don't know who was in the Super Bowl. I think it was Bears versus the Colts. <laughs> You're making me look out there. No, 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 no. I want to say that because it's weird that. Let's see. That yes, was. it's Bears and the Colts. That's why I said it's you. Mike is from Chicago. Yes, right. He likes the Bears. And what's his his favorite Super Bowl performance? Is when the Bears went to the Super Bowl. Oh, I didn't even realize that. This nigga a bot. How about bot? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a bot. He's an AI bot. <laughs> this nigga talking about. I don't know why the Prince thing just sticks in my head, nigga. Because you was rooting for the Bears and you watched the whole game. <laughs> like, I gotta uh, watch the Super Bowl. 2010, the Who. Um, Black Eyed Peas, I remember that one. I don't think that I was, do remember because yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I do remember Black Eyed Peas. Madonna was 2012. Um, Beyonce 2013, and that was in New Orleans. Bruno Mars was 2014, so they weren't together. They're just back to back. I saw them on stage together. Nope. You yeah, saying Beyonce and Br- so you saying Beyonce and Bruno Mars never been on stage together at the Super Bowl? They have. Nope. Back to back <sighs> years. Huh? Back to back years. Nah. It would show, show them. Maybe you're right. Cause maybe, it show, maybe it was like I saw it in like a a mural like type yeah. picture. Because <laughs> it would have showed both of them together. Yeah, you're right. Like the other ones. Oh, no, you're right. Uh, weekend. The weekend obviously was was funny. That was that was meme worthy. Beyonce and Bruno Mars crashed a Pepsi 50 <laughs> time show. Yeah, they were on stage together. They were? Yeah. What's, you, what's you. one? I don't know whose it was. I think it was Beyonce's. 2015, right? Yeah, eight years ago. Yep, twenty. Yep, I think, I think it was Beyonce's, and she invited Bruno Mars on stage. So, and then Bruno Mars did it the next year after Beyonce. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe she introduced him. <laughs> For real? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, sixteen. Uh, and I already kind of, I went, I was reading it while you were talking already. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was saying the weekend. I was like, that was me more. Okay, I can't hear it. I still want to hear it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go back again then. Um, Start at Bruno Mars, Beyonce. Bruno Mars, Beyonce, Lady, no, Katy Perry, 2015. Okay. Coldplay, 2016. I remember that. I don't. Lady Gaga, 2017. Yes. Uh, Justin Timberlake, 18. Maroon 5. I remember that one. That 2019. Yes. Um, Shakira and Jennifer Lopez, 2020. Jennifer Lopez. That's crazy. Yeah, you don't remember that? Yeah, I remember, but it's uh, because obviously you brought Shakira out, yeah. right? No, they were, it was tandem like that. Oh, so yeah. they both performed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess that's a normal thing, by the way, you've been reading that. The weekend. But this one was like, there wasn't like a surprise thing, I think. The weekend. Both. Remember he had, he the was like Mar- running through crazy. all those like mirrors and yep. stuff? Dr. Dre, mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar was the 2022. And the Super Bowl is in Vegas and they chose Usher. Yeah, he just did a residency there. Yeah, I know, I know. And he has an album. No, uh, no, no. I'm just, I'm just trying to like get the dynamic because the LA one was themed. It was kind of themed that it was. It was like theme. it's in Los Angeles. Yeah. So who performed last year? Rihanna. Rihanna performed. Like, she did perform last year. She was year. pregnant. Remember? Yes, and people thought that she was going to um, come out with new music uh-huh. during the thing, but yeah. or or announced that she's doing new music, but she yeah. she still hasn't had new. She must be really done with making music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen to this real quick. I don't eat eggs, and you shouldn't either. Which vegetables are okay to eat? My answer is no. Here's why I quit eating meat, and you should. There could be a lot of heavy metals in the rice you eat. All right, so that basically was a video of just, like, different uh, reels of just people telling you what you should eat and what you can't eat and what's bad for you. And there's a guy pretty much eating off an empty plate because, you know, you just eat on the Internet so much information, like, Oh, eat this way, or stop eating red meat, or don't eat, don't go vegan, and this yeah. and that. It's just like everything. It's like you can't eat anything anymore. I feel like if everybody, people don't realize that there's not enough like pure food for everybody to eat. Yeah. If everybody switched to being healthy, um, there'll be a war going on right you now. Think so? Hell I think yeah, it'll just be grown though. No, I think like processed foods and all that stuff, like make sure that it's food for everybody. The fact that they can create, even though it's bad for people, yeah. the fact that they can create more with like little resources. Yeah. Because if everybody was like eating their corn from a farmer's thing, like them boys. Now, now it's, uh, it's, it's unlimited now because they can create meat in the, yeah. in the, yeah, what do you call it? Yeah. Nasty. <laughs> what? I mean, that's what you eat. Every day. Meat, I know, like vegan, like, like the impossible burgers. 
No, that shit stinks. I remember when I used you to like work Impossible at, Burgers. I used to work at Burger King, uh-huh. and they had the Impossible Whoppers. It smells so nasty. I like, oh, you sound I like cooking it. I like Impossible Meat. <laughs> Wait a minute, this nigga like dildos. <laughs> Wait, what? I, no, I, I like the be, be I like the Impossible Meat more than Beyond Meat. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's the name of the companies. I, was I know this. Like, I just like can't join this conversation because I actually had a lot to say, and I'm just like, I just can't be in this little meat debacle you got. Going on. <laughs> Calling it a meat debacle is crazy. Yeah, that's that's what I'm uh, speaking of crazy, listen to this one. Keep Yo, man, Key, you gotta stop pausing so much. Listen, you got got the meat manager pause. over here. Outside, <laughs> Nigga, you listen, want to listen, talk. Listen. Nah, is it still snowing outside, bro? Snow outside. Nah, is crazy, snow is bro. crazy. Bro, can y'all stop saying everything is crazy, bro? It's starting. It's it's. I think it's starting to drive me crazy. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Getting driven to insanity is crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is funny how much like I I didn't even know like how much I use that's crazy for everything or that's insane. I feel like today well, to get so people's intent like attention, you have to call them crazy. <laughs> like yo, that's crazy. Yeah. Like yo, you wearing shorts. Your son, your nine-year-old son got on shorts and it's 25 degrees out. Yo, that's crazy. I want to let you know that. (laughs) I think that's crazy. I think that's wrong. You fucked up. You crazy. (laughs) What? Crazy, man. Yeah, because it's always funny. It's like we do something like that's crazy or it's crazy. I don't know. It's just funny that we all kind of gravitate to that word. Man. That's like 2000. We say 2020. But that's crazy. That's how I get people off the phone. <laughs> Damn, that's that is, crazy. Yeah, that is how you get people off the phone. What? I just tell people I'm not. And the mailman accidentally, no. and the mailman accidentally delivered it to the neighbor. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> when somebody's going like through something, like they think they're gonna, you're gonna give them advice or something. Especially if, like that one friend that the shit never is going good for them, and they call you, hey, bro, shit, I'm out of money, bro, and this do it all at the casino, and be like, shit, that's crazy. All right, bro. Hope everything get better for you. Bro, <laughs> you want to know something, bro? I was going through my girl phone because I've been suspecting that she's been texting another dude. And, man, I ain't seen another dude in there, but I went to her group chat, and she said, I'm leaving this nigga. <laughs> you ain't got no advice? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Y'all niggas the worst. If I was in your position, the worst yeah. advice somebody could give you, yeah. if I was in your position... Shit, I'd be just like you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna lie. Getting fr- advice from your guy friend sometimes is never the right. It's sometimes it's not the best idea because they don't have feelings, yeah. Yeah. especially if you got like a single guy friend. Like yeah. that nigga heart has been broken within the last two years. Yeah. Yeah. So you Funny. like, so you like, man, <laughs> man, my girl, my girl, so annoying, bro. Her alarm was going off all night, nigga, in the corner, like, leave that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> leave that bitch. That, yeah. Like, bro, why is you calling her a bitch, bro? Like, what? What is wrong with you? <laughs> nah, man, leave that hoe. Bro, bro stop you, calling my girl a hoe, bro. You gotta be very wary of taking advice from your single friend. Because yeah. They want you to be in the same position as them. Yes. So, so, both, evil. so both of y'all can have fun again. <laughs> bro, what? Bro, she just, bro, it's only 3 a.m. Why is she blowing up your line like that? The worst bro? influences. Bro, bro, tell her, bro, the strip club is not real, bro. These girls, we paying these girls. It's entertainment, bro. What type of married man can't get no ass shaking in his face? Did they start soft ass nigga, bro? She, she don't like, she don't respect uh, workers, right, man? Is she trying to police women's body, bro? We tipping them, we tipping them. Like, bro, bro. you put it, you put her through college, bro. Uh, philanthropy, bro. How many days in a week is it? Seven, right? So you tell me if you if we went out three times this week, that's too much? That's less than half the week? Is you a man? <laughs> bro, Bruh, bro, my kids. Bri- I'm not going to lie, bro. You being a bitch, bro. I'm not going to lie. Bro. You're not being a man, bro. bro. We used to hunt, nigga. <laughs> bro, I make my son walk to school two miles every day, bro. You do not have to keep picking up your son like that, bro. You doing what? Was somebody out daddy or you? Yeah. They be like, bro, you spoiling them. <laughs> you change his diaper every time? me shit that boy gonna be spoiled bro you d- bro there's definitely bro at least three times a week you should be able to come home at like 5 a.m bro. come on bro bro sometimes you don't got everybody don't need sleep bro just because she's sleeping don't mean you gotta go back to sleep at the same time That's exactly so crazy. <laughs> exactly bro 
You ain't gotta be there for movie, bruh. Broken <laughs> promises happen, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. You gonna have way more recitals, bro. You gonna have way more sports games. You don't gotta go to every game. He bro. going to college, right? <laughs> Fuck that high school graduation, nigga. Take a drink. <laughs> Where's your influences, dog? He got scholarship. You man. gave him that. Remember, you gave him all <laughs> that shit. You the reason that whole that they exist, bro. Bro, you already gave him your, your first name and his last name, bro. You don't got to give him no more. Bro. No more, bro. His mom tripping. His mom said you can't sleep over there. Man, I wouldn't even go see my kid. <laughs> nasty. Nasty, nasty. If it was me, I'd move to Texas, bro. <laughs> Niggas are deadbeats, bro. <laughs> what are y'all acting like? That just beat up. No, I would go, hey, he ain't make the basketball team. <laughs> if it was me, I'd ghost that little nigga. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. Oh, man. Never take advice from your toxic, your toxic friend. Hold on. Bro. You got a good relationship with your, with your ex-girlfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> the fuck? If it was me? I shoot that nigga. <laughs> Cold blood. <laughs> yeah, huh? that's yeah, that's that's that should be off limits. Anyway, go ahead. I don't even think that you could be cool with somebody you're with your ex's boyfriend. No, I'm sorry. Ex is your your baby mama. Okay. Your baby mama's boyfriend. Like let's say you had a kid with yeah, a woman, yeah. right? Yeah. And I'd then she, y'all broke up and she got remarried. Y'all don't think you would be mature. Nah, probably. No, yeah, I would be mature. You got to, bro. Because like I ain't trying to be on all that. Because it affect kid. the kids. It's doing too much. It definitely to affect the, the kids, kids, man. That's always a tough one. It, it oh. is, but it's not, but it is, but it's I not. I don't have kids, and, you know, so, so it's very hard to judge anything, but it's just like one of those things where I think in the dating stage it will be hard. Yeah. In the in the marriage stage, it will definitely be easier because okay, you guys are together, but it's like if there's, like, a new guy in the <laughs> in the – in the picture, like every like five guys, different guys in a year. Yeah, and it gets a little tough. It's like, especially with a kid, because and then like, especially, you know, a lot of people have kids with people they don't know. Yeah, and then they find out about that person. Like, how messed up is it if a woman has a kid by a dude who like he was perceived as like having a lot of money and having all these resources. Yeah, but she already got pregnant by him in three months, and now she really getting to know him. Be like. She go around his mom. He like, you know, he ain't never owned no car, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think a lot of uh, women are good at like, you know, not bringing the the guys they're seeing around their kids just yet until they feel like they're gonna be there consistent. I, I don't be worried about a, a woman's choice. Um, they second time around. Yeah, no, either. it be the ones that like that are young because like when guys are young, it's like. It's, it's just different. Like, your life is, like, changed. Like, if a guy feel like he don't want to take care of a baby, like... You can just dip. They be dipping, bro. Like, or they, like, some of these dudes, like, they good dads now, but they was dead beats at some yeah, point. Yeah, like, yeah. they ran for the first three years, and then the fourth year, they came back, and they just happened think, to have a girl that's not going to rat them I out like that. women definitely have a more emotional... I mean, they carry the baby. They carry the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the dad time. literally... Like, the woman has to go to the hospital. Like, yeah. has to do all that stuff. Yeah. She go to jail if she don't do the right yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, exactly. The dude could just be like, I'm out until it get easier for me, and mm-hmm. then come back. Mm-hmm. And then, like... Like, file for, like, half custody because, like, the judge don't care about none of that. Yeah. Like, he here now. Shit. Let him see the kid. <laughs> Technically. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. Like, a dude could disappear and be like, I want to see my son. And they be like, nah, but like, I'm taking you to court. And then just come up with some big excuse. I was because on meth. if you came and gave him money, <laughs> if you came and put money in his pocket, they probably wouldn't say no. This nigga Why? think he on an episode of Power and shit. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this has been Crash Dummies episode. How you going to look at me and say that? I feel like this is really fun. really fun. If I, don't, if I don't agree with this it. This has been Crash Dummies episode. This has been Ca- Crash Dummies episode 141. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man.